it's not imposed upon it. It isn't the style I'm imposing on something. It's, it, it's something that's coming out of the individual person who has been seen and is present and is there right in front of you with you. anatomically functional. Why would she could no more get up if she got up? I mean, a little tiny pin head and a huge great torso and short legs and a huge great torso. I'm saying that the eye is sensitive to color vibrations taken from sight that have not been explored in the art of painting and that the art of the nude itself, which is an art form, it's not a naked person. The nude is an art form. Began with Greece, with gods and goddesses, idealized, I'm convinced, with the use of the golden section or, or root two rectangle, whatever geometry was used to, to harmonize and, uh, and, and present their, their work. Yeah. And then you get the Renaissance and the neoclassical stuff, which is why I showed you that reprodu those reproductions in there, and they follow this out in, in their own way, but these are art, art objects and art figures and I want them to be living, alive, you and me. You, any, I'm saying that any human being could be subject of, a, of, 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 of either the nude or a clothed figure, could subject to a work of art. That is completely out of the schema, of the, of the classical schema, do you see? Mm -hmm. And yet at the same time, I go back and say the figures have got to be three-dimensional, sculptural, able to move, able to move and function as a human being, and you have to have what Berenson calls tactile values in space. You have to have these things if the figure is ever going to come back, if the nude is an art comes back. essay says you people see the still lifes in the landscapes they rarely see the nudes and they never have seen them all together or, or the life-size figures too so you have a you have a wall like this do you see and you have you have the landscape and at the same time there's a religious uh, wb right the, the reverend right and there is saint therese over there and if you go past around the corner there is a still life with a little tiny cross in it you know there's an interweaving of these of these things the, the pieces of color next to each other are what create sensations of form three-dimensional form and space and the earlier paintings, they are larger and broader and more discreet notes of color. As I, as I get older, you see it here in the landscape and you see it there with me. The difference between the, the, the hand and the paint uh, and, and Mimi, and let's say any of these are the genius. The, old, the later paintings are more broken up. The color pieces come together in your eye when you back away from it. And they come together with a sense of space that you can see when you get a really a distance from the So that here we have an early landscape. And, and if you look 
look up in, into things of this sort, you see, you see how much color, color value there is in here. This isn't a Leonardo da Vinci getting cool in the background and warm in the foreground. This is notes so that you can tell, and that must be two or three miles across the valley. You can, you can, you can see the yellow greens and the cool greens. You can tell the difference between you know, a stand of, of white ash, as I say, from, from maples, which, which are a little warmer now. The eye will pick that up. It'll pick it up in nature. And with the color spot business, you're using that as a tool in paint. That's very exciting for a painter. This is something that didn't exist. This isn't Impressionism. This isn't anything you know, to do with the 19th century ways of dealing with things, and it came into being with, with Charles Hawthorne, who was Dickinson's teacher, and uh, it's been up against non-figurative painting. It hasn't been developed, do you see? This is the same form here, in the corner of the studio, and the, and the, you, you've been there, so you know it. This is a, it's all the setup is on the, on the same floor. Here, I just wanted him there. I give up the boards, the design of the boards, all the orthogonals, you know, all of that is all gone. That is the same floor. If you look over, over, oh, wait a minute, we've got to get over here. You see, you see, it's the same place. So the people who think that representation is like a photograph, taking it all in and copying something, it is not. Representation is, is a tool to use. It's just a tool.